She really hates him. It's really true. <clears throat> Testing one, two, three. Okay, let's get this thing rock. Let's get this thing rolling. I was going to say rocking and rolling, but that's corny. Yeah. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. I said, let's get it rolling. Moving on. You know what I mean? Moving on. Uh, welcome to My Wife Hates Me, the number one podcast, Hillsboro, New Jersey. Bonnie McFarlane, Rich Voss. Rich Voss, Bonnie McFarlane, married many years. She hates me. Uh, she uh, and I went to the uh, comedy solar party Tuesday night. And Bonnie, it's funny when she's at these parties, she's like a politician running around. She hugs everybody. Running around. First of all, there was no running around. You, you like. I hey, just, you're so happy to see you. Just everybody. ditch me the minute you get in. No, I walked down I the, the stairs by the... myself and she, went in by myself. Because you stopped to talk up top. You stopped to talk to Katie Hannigan, Hannigan, and went downstairs to go to the bathroom, and then you were on your uh, campaign tour. Hugging. What was my who was I hugging? Please. Everybody you see that you hey. That's how people greet one another. No, hi, hello. That's how I greet them. I don't fucking hug the whole fucking party. I was party. like doing a, a few handshakes. I never know for sure, but if I see someone I've seen in a long time, you give them a little hug. Oh, how's it going? Co- it's a pretty natural, normal thing to Not do. For, you hug too much. It's leaving, you're hugging people. I, and I, you're thinking, didn't she hug me coming in? I know. I, 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 sometimes when I'm leaving, that's where it gets complicated because you're like, I did already hug them, but then you want to like make an exit. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Yeah. That's what I do. All goodbye. Right. Well. Uh, you know. So anyhow, uh, Keith was there, Bobby, Norton, and uh, Colin wasn't there. Colin doesn't go to those things. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why, but it was a good party. It wasn't bad. We stayed a little longer than usual. So, you know, uh, I had a good time. You know, I mean, look, I'm fucking Rich Voss. These people are, you know, happy to talk to me or see, you know what I mean? Like, so whatever and you know i sat and talked to marina and lois for a while and uh bonnie spent the whole night with bobby kelly there's, there's bobby. like all these hairs on that okay sorry talking to bobby kelly the whole night and then was I, talking about, I was ta- i talked to jim norton for a long time I hadn't seen him for a long time so i talked to him first of all i came where you were sitting you were sitting with those guys so i came and sat down you had no interest in me whatsoever. That's not true. So you what, didn't even, like last, look over and say hi or for anything. For what? The last ten years we yeah, drove yeah. in together. I know, but it's like usually uh, like hello. I hadn't seen. Oh, you. I'm sorry. I didn't know where you went. I was looking all over. Then I see you sitting down. I was scared to say hello because I thought you would come over and hug me. So at that point, all, you didn't even know how I was being at the party. Because you didn't see me. You ditched me immediately. No, I didn't ditch you. Let's go over it again. You went to the bathroom, and then you didn't, like... I Then I looked for you. Then you were sitting there embroiled in your stupid conversations. I didn't with the, have no conversation. Gang. So then I went down. <laughs> no, I'm listen, I'm defending myself here. And so then I went down and sat next to you, which you didn't even I look said, over. Hey, everybody, Bonnie McFarlane. I introduced you. I think I did. Okay, and so then I talked to Jim Norton a bit. Yeah. And then um, you left, and I was just sitting there. I didn't leave. I went to get food. Well, that's leaving the there. What do you mean you didn't leave? Then you, I didn't mean uh, you left the party. You left the area. Yeah, to get food. Go ahead. It was a temporary. So then I sat and talked to, to Bobby for a bit. Then I left, and I went around and... <laughs> She chatted top. with a bunch of people. Hugged everybody. But that's okay. I didn't hug every... I don't know who did I hugged. Did you hug uh, Rosebud? No, I did not. You did. I didn't. Did you hug Tom Papa? Yes. Yeah. So you're saying... Because <laughs> he was Papa, standing. You're Rosebud saying, was sitting. You're saying Tom Papa's worth more of a hug than Rosebud. Rosebud just had a baby. She deserves more of a hug than Tom Papa. I told Rosebud 
She was sitting like a man, so I go, I've never seen anyone more womanly. <laughs> more what? <laughs> After of having their baby. <laughs> uh, how do you sit like a man? So they were legs apart. Oh. Well, people noticed a little weight loss on Rich Voss, at least Mike Cannon did. <sighs> he said, oh, you look slim or did you lose weight? I go, yeah, but then I gained it back with my new bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> I like those guys. Cannon, Sweeney, and uh, Sagalow. I yeah. like that crew. I do too. I told uh, Cannon and Sagalow to let them know that they're my guests if they get thrown out, you know, that we're here with Rich Foss. And uh, I'm a fan of those guys, all three of them. Mm-hmm. That whole crew. That's a good crew. So we uh, went to the party, we hung out, and uh, that was it. That was our party uh, experience Tuesday night. And uh, it's been a long week sitting home, not working. I put together a little, not a little, a plastic storage unit to put our pool supplies in. You know, they make them so hard to get into place, those whatever. Then I was going to put the sauna together today. And uh, tomorrow night I'll be at the Dinellan Hotel in Dinellan, uh, New Jersey. Are we done? No, oh. I'm just throwing that in till we oh, start sad. talking about. I was like, came to and was like, you're plugging. I was like, oof, good, we did it. No, no, no. I, I, I nodded out during when you started talking about pool stuff. <laughs> you nodded out. Yeah, that I. I mean, is that like literally we're like five minutes into the podcast, you're like, here's where I walked to and sat with at the party. And now here's what I put together. Like, what is this? It's like the most boring newsletter on the fucking planet. It's like you're you're doing a uh, one of those holiday letters that parents do or used to do, you know, before (laughs) Facebook. I don't know. I don't know what to talk about today. The you didn't read anything interesting in the news? Yeah, or... but you don't ever want to talk about... Israel no, I don't Palestine. want to talk about that kind of news. Of course not. What Are you insane? Why am I insane? Why would I want to talk about that? I muted you on fucking Instagram and have not yet unmuted you because it's still ongoing and I can't have that kind of fucking onslaught of bad news in my face every fucking day it's like when people are unhappy they just want everyone to be unhappy i'm with not them. unhappy i'm just real well there's nothing i can do about it so well, yeah, you can... what i married a fucking jew there there's my alliance i did it that's your alliance so my alliance I, i'm not i'm not anti-semitic i mar- so... i married an irish girl so that's my alliance with ireland yeah, we're like kings and queens of the old times. Yeah, but Ireland is very, very anti. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm just anti- saying I'm doing my part. So you're doing your part. As I'm just a- saying, like, I don't know what all like the bad have news. Have you ever made me a Jewish- the bad news train is going to fucking do for me? Have you ever made uh, a Jewish dinner? Potato pancakes or matzo ball soup? Like oh. Matzo balls have a little uh, have a lot of carbs. I wonder, probably right. I don't even know what they're made out of. Oh my god! Have you ever known that matzo? Yeah, I'm sure well. it's a wheat. Oh, well. it can well. only be a couple of things: wheat or rice. I don't think it's rice. Fucking Bonnie made last night amazing chicken bacotta and chicken parm this amazing. is boring but i'm gonna let it go because it's about something i did go amazing ahead. it was an amazing dinner she, well i was doing meal prep i wasn't exactly making all that for dinner but then you did eat a lot a lot of it oh, it's i made go ahead two chicken parms three chicken bacottas <laughs> and one just regular breaded chicken breast and the cauliflower spinach mashed cauliflower have you folks ever had mashed cauliflower probably not that's well i said this is this is how it goes in our house i go well what do you you know should we go out for dinner or what should we uh we said i go i'll just i have this chicken i'll just make it and um i had all these like this major amount i don't know why i had so much and then uh um 
I go, how about uh, like cauliflower? And and then this is rich every time. There's no, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, great. Whatever you want. That sounds good. No, it's like, cook it soft. Yeah. I soft. only like it very soft. Do I yell like that? Do I? It's intense. <sighs> and like, he'll come by when you're cooking and like, make sure you're doing it right. No he one... always questions everything you're doing. Like. He doesn't go like, oh, that, that that smells good or whatever. I did. I came down. I said, what smells so good? You yeah. go, something stinks. I didn't say something you stinks. Did. <laughs> You're like, no, I didn't. What's that smell? I told you I was like, you did it. Well, yeah, cauliflower and broccoli have to be soft. Who we, People that eat hard cauliflower and hard uh, broccoli uh, are anti-Semitic. Okay. That's my guess, or anti-American. Hard. Like when we went out for dinner, that broccoli was amazing. It was like baby food. I mean, it was good, but it was literally the consistency of baby food. It was cut into little pieces. Also, he could never say chopped or cut without also doing this. You'll notice. Oh, really? Yeah. Cut it. Cut it really small. Chop it up. Chop it up. Chop it up good. Pound it. And oh yeah, and then oh, I said I'm making like, I go, I guess I could make you chicken parm. He goes, pound it really thin, really thin. Yeah, you use. A it's hat. like he's a king, <laughs> and he's like, I will fucking chop your head off, chop well, your head off, chop your head off. Yeah. Well, I hate to break the news to you, but you're up there pounding with a dumb hammer. We have a sledgehammer, a small one downstairs. Well, that I'm would saving that for you whoa look at that bitch yeah in court but again see what i'm talking about what? it's like it's like con he thinks that i'm always you're always on my fucking case he doesn't realize he's doing it to me nonstop. i'm no. just not triggered by it so much i mean occasionally i'll be like stop right now and he'll be like, well, what am i doing it's like no i for it, i could be up there if i was pounding and he's done this many times pounding the chicken first of all I don't even eat chicken. Let's let's keep that in mind. I don't even eat it. Okay. But here I am making him his fucking chicken because I and Raina's. love him. And uh What's wrong with your finger? <laughs> and but I've done it before where I've been up there pounding and he'll come up and be like really thin. Like he won't just be like, Oh great, she's pounding it. Like I, I don't think I've ever cooked anything for him where he hasn't been like, Is this cooked? No, just plated it. What the hell? You don't want to hoping get... you hoping you die. <laughs> yeah. So far, you said two death things towards me in court. They would go, yeah, she wanted to kill him. Right? Two. They just would have to... to listen to half of this podcast, and they'd be like, "I mean, do you blame her?" <laughs> oh, is that what? They, who's they? <laughs> the 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 court, your imaginary <laughs> judge and jury. Well, let me tell you something. If Someone is making dinner for you, which is nice, and I appreciate they it. You should just eat whatever they give you. No, they would go, hey, I'm going to make you this. How would you like no. it? No. Did you ask Raina how she liked her steak when you made her steak the other night? I knew how she liked it, and I did it wrong anyway. Yeah. So that's why I, I got it. That's why I got to tell you so you don't do it. I don't want you to waste all that food and time. Well, her steak, I didn't cook it, overcook it on purpose. Well. First it was an accident. All, no. The fact that she's eating steaks is creepy. Like anything that Rich doesn't eat, he finds absurd. Anything that Rich doesn't do, he finds absurd that other people do it. Well, yeah, we haven't had steak. I think it's gross that you eat fucking chicken. Oh no, chicken's normal. And he walks around going like, "I don't eat meat," and then people go, "Oh, too bad, we had some chicken." Oh, I eat chicken. Yeah, I don't eat meat. I eat chicken or, or I've turkey. I've never heard anyone differentiate Expert. meat from chicken from meat. Red meat. I don't eat red well, meat. Well, you, or you pork. don't say that, though. You you at a restaurant be like, I don't eat meat. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we have these veggies. I eat chicken. Is and that like, what I they say? They always go, huh, okay. Is that what they do? They go, huh, huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. And it's weird because Bonnie already hugged the waitress. So we went, did I say this last time? Well, we went to that restaurant for my birthday. Yeah. Rich got the half roasted chicken because I Googled best roasted chicken in the city and this fucking place came up. 
And I told him when we went that for my birthday, all he had to do is just like no complaining, just be like, this is great. This is good. Which you did, I realized. And I was like so happy. And then I realized, oh, I told you to do that. Were you just doing it because I told you to do that? No, it was good. Oh, because he looks away. I mean, I was like, is it the best chicken in the city? He was like, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Like he can't say something. Like he, he, you have such a hard time. It's like they're, they're, your truth meter's on super, super high for good things and super, super low for bad things. So you could say, like, this is the worst, knowing it's not the worst. But you couldn't say this is the best unless it truly, in your mind, was the very fucking best. I said it was better than other places. And I was eating some of the chicken with my finger. This is what I was going to bring up. He's what? eating the chicken with his finger. Some of it, which you can, because it's I go, Rich, chicken. don't. Then... He grabs the black waiter and goes, I tell my wife I could eat chicken with my fingers. And I was like, oh, my God, this seems so racist. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a waiter. And, how do you, and then tell her how you eat watermelon. Will you please tell her <laughs> how you eat watermelon? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, my God. So then he has to ask a white waiter to make sure, which it was also embarrassing to just be like, tell my wife. Like, they're going to turn around to me and be like, yeah, he's wrong. I wish they would turn around and punch you. Who's those. paying? I wish they'd be like, who's paying? And I'll side with whoever's paying. And then the black waiter came back and was like, it tastes better if you do it with your fingers. Yeah. Like, okay. Who's on my side? Phew. You but know. I was kind of like, oh, these guys will do anything for a tip. He Not wasn't our waiter. Oh, these guys, Not black these people. Guys, I meant waiters. <laughs> well, uh, have you read the story about the two-headed uh, lady that got married? The Siamese twins. Yeah. Conjoined twins. You're not supposed to say Siamese twins anymore. Why? What? Why do they keep changing the rules every like three years? Um, probably they're trying to outrun mean people. I don't think people are being mean by going, oh, Siamese twins. I don't think they're being vicious. That's what they grew up learning. I don't know. It probably has something to do with. The cats? Like, where did it come from, Siamese yeah. twin? Huh? Siamese twins. What's the uh, basis of that? That's what I'd like to know. You know, there's a lot. Uh, Siamese twins is synonym for conjoined twins without further comment. That's from the Webster's. Well, hmm. how old were they? They got married at what age? Um, they're originally labeled Siamese after the famous pair Chang and Ang, born in Siam, which I thought it was something to do with Siam, but I didn't want to say it until I read it. They don't want to seem stupid. First of all, you never, I never even now heard of Thailand. a place. Thailand. Never even heard of a place called Siam, and neither it, of you. Yes, I have. How have you heard That's of Siam? That's where the cats are from. Okay, it's Thailand. In 1811, the Siamese was. Anyway, they, the, the people keep going like, well, how does one get married to the guy and not the other? And it's like, Obviously, a thruple. They both have to agree on it. Yeah, the guy had to like both of them, and both the girls had to like the guy. And it, you know, it's like he's they have one body. Yeah, but he has two options. I mean, that guy lucked out. He gets a fucking threesome every night, but not two pussies, only two fucking blowjobs, two naggers. Oh, yeah. Oh, two blowjobs. Well, you only have one dick. What does it matter? I mean, two options. Right. You know, and what if he gets in an argument with one and the other one is on his side and one isn't? This could be very complicated. Right. It could be complicated. Right. Like, if you had two heads, like, it's crazy What if you want to gossip about the one? You can't. You tell her to cover her ear. You got, you got to just text, I guess. Oh, man. How do you tell them apart? One is on the left and one is on the <laughs> right. Well, good for them. 
Which they probably had the toughest fucking life growing up. Isn't it wild, though, that, like, I mean, I just talked to a woman who was like, I just, you know, I'm a normal, nice human. I cannot find a guy. Well, these fucking conjoined bitches did it. This guy was like, fuck it. Didn't Morgan Murphy have the best joke about Mackenzie Phillips or something? Tweet or something? I don't remember. Oh. You don't know what it was? About fucking her dad? Yeah. Don't know. I don't know. I don't remember it, but it was really funny. Well, great. I'm glad you brought it out. That's very I helpful. thought you would remember it. You Well, I don't. So you I'm know. sorry that I can't be your memory on absolutely everything. Oh, but you remember every little negative thing that's ever happened. Oh, and well, here's the problem with Bonnie. Oh. She exaggerates very, and she's admitted it. Everybody knows it. I never, ever, ever, ever exaggerate. She, everybody knows it. So she'll think something in her head, and seven years later, it's exaggerated even more and more and more in her head. Then she'll come back up with a story, and it'll be completely wrong over uh embellished and like what's an example i don't have any oh well thank you for that then but you know what i'm saying do you know you can there's like people and this just seems so genius and i can't believe that it hasn't happened before but you can hire a therapist quit doing with the fingers every fucking two minutes okay it's (laughs) that's triggering to you it's so you act like you're better than everybody going like that (laughs) how does that act like i'm better you just act like oh look how educated i am (laughs) to do air quotes yeah yeah no no i've not not my therapist i do my my, none of my friends have ever done that okay well keith can't raise his arm okay and uh i don't know i'm sorry okay go on that's not how you do it. Oh, I, you know, it's like this. I, I've said it before this podcast. I'll say again: white trash has you by the fucking short and curlies and will not let go. Oh, man, the short and curlies. I, I speak white language. trash. There's white trash your... by a diamond bracelet like that. Yes, that's white trash. Are you kidding me? It's like you're just sitting there being like, and I know this is absolutely true. You're like, should I buy this? like people show it to the the camera people can't see how bright and shiny this thing is but it is like a a a disco ball this thing is so fucking shiny it's 10 carats and i'll give you 10 carats (laughs) for that that is actually what it seems when you bought bought it from bugs bunny oh whoa (laughs) (laughs) and he was sitting there thinking like should I buy this or a mobile home? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> no. I know you. I'm sure no. just moments before buying that, you were looking at a, or not a mobile home, an RV. I'll get that one day. A little one. A little one. Drive to the golf course, sleep. Like, I don't up. get it. Like, what? Like, your rings and that. Like I like jewelry. I but like- what person have you seen wearing that that you're like, yeah, that's that's cool. It's no one like what is it from your Mr. T what deep in your psyche is like are you trying to like represent there with that and you're walking around showing everybody and and everybody has the same response everybody's like oh it's the same as when uh (laughs) I don't know what the last thing I was doing oh when you go chicken isn't I eat chicken it's the same response Hmm. okay (laughs) So what were you going to say before? I saw you showing people and people were like, well, people are like sh- shielding their eyes. What? Oh. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, the other thing, too, is that that might be acceptable if you were toned down in other ways. But you're not. You're just like you're th- you're throwing everything at it all the time. And I don't on this last podcast, I said. Do you remember this? I said, uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, you were talking about wanting to get a Louis Vuitton, something or other. Yeah. And then I was like, labels just aren't cool anymore. Like, rich people don't do labels. It's like stealth wealth. 
you know, quiet luxury. That's the thing right now. It's like labels aren't cool. And then, and I, I know for a fact you did this without thinking about it, without what, even putting that in your head in the slightest. And you bought me a Gucci purse for my birthday. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice, and I do like it, but I'm just saying, like... She sleeps with it. Literally a day after I said... And, and well, I'm not gonna Labels go, aren't cool. I'm not going to go to fucking Marshalls and get you a birthday No, present. no, no, but it's like... No, I don't want that. I'm talking... these the Rich people get very expensive stuff, but they don't have labels. It's not well, like... Oh, Gucci only has a little. I know, but that didn't occur to you. Not at all. Like, because, why didn't you think of that? That I said, oh, labels aren't cool anymore. And then you went, oh, let me go get her something with a label. We do what we do. We don't try to follow trends and try to be cool. And if we like something, we get it. We don't, I don't go, oh, is this cool or not cool? I like it. You so do get, say this is cool or not cool because that's no. why you're getting Gucci. If you really didn't care, you would just go to Marshall's and get something. But I do care. And I wouldn't get you a, 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 <laughs> A crappy pocketbook from Marshalls. You got it's, it's the like, oh, but I eat chicken again. What? What? Do you huh? like the pocketbook? Yes or no? I do like it. it but okay. it is funny to me that it's like, if. Well, guess what? Maybe it'll come back in. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I, I just think it's funny that you didn't consider it. Like, I just realized like nothing. I said like, that's what you go. Why are you yelling at me? Because it's the only way to get something in there. Get like a fucking. Log it in. Okay. <laughs> well, I was saying this therapy thing. This is genius. So you hire a therapist. It's not a real therapist. How do you know it's not real? Can you listen? I'm about oh. to tell you the thing. Oh, go ahead. You hire a therapist. It's not a real therapist. It's somebody who acts like a therapist, yeah. pretends to be a therapist, mm -hmm. and but you pay them. Ew, Rich. Sorry, go ahead. Disgusting. You don't need to. Be... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I haven't done it in a while. In a while. I just don't understand it. Go ahead. And then I ought to be the bad guy. You're not a bad guy. You're a good guy. No, but it's like, you're like, why, why don't we have more listeners? <laughs> not making noises. Oh, how, how come people complain about it non-fucking no, stop? No. Yes, they do. Lately, I haven't because I've been listening to you. I've been taking your advice. Go ahead. How do you hire a fake therapist? It's a business. Oh, you're saying start a business? No, they already have it. You can hire someone as a fake therapist yeah. and then you pay them to side with you. So then you go to your husband, hey, let's go to this therapist. And you go to this office. It looks like a therapist's office. And oh, stuff. you got to go live in person? Not online? Maybe it's online. Yeah. Yeah, because. Maybe it's on Zoom. Go ahead. And then you, you go, oh, we're having some problems. And then the therapist just goes, I feel like she's right on this. Because you paid them off. Brilliant. <laughs> Although I feel like I could go to a real therapist and just tell them what's going on and I wouldn't have to pay them. Off. They'd be like, I told you the time I went to a therapy session with my, one of my ex-boyfriends and the uh -huh. therapist was like, run. <laughs> Do you know the story? Do you want me to tell it? Yeah, go ahead. So... He, I go, he's, everything's a joke. Like he won't be serious. I can't bring up anything at all serious. He'll just make jokes about it. And, uh, and by the way, this person, it got insane. Like everywhere we went, you know how you go every time we drive past certain places, you like start talking about the construction in Hillsboro and how the construction company just left and how everyone's probably mad. And it's like this, fucking glitch in you that you have to say it even though you know you've told me a million times that was like with him but with jokes on certain things like if we went to a movie theater and it was like kind of empty he'd be like well i guess we can't sit together every time every time like there was funny <laughs> it's funny once i would even say it's funny 10 times but every fucking time like there were certain things like 
he would just always say it and um and they were always like kind of old jokes like let me finish you know that stuff and i go to her yeah he just you know he won't stop joking and she says to him she goes well I actually do see it even just in this session that you're doing that. And he goes, ah, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then she just looks at me and goes, <laughs> Co. yeah, there's no saving it. Well, they would say that we're the best couple that they've seen. Okay, Trump. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> We're a good couple. We like being a couple. We're one of the best couples out there. Oh, is that, is that like is, Trump? <laughs> Trump turned into a Jewish lady. Or I something? Don't know. Wow. Raina, our daughter, expects, and I don't. I'm not for it. Her senior class trip next year is 13 days in Europe with no one I know. Don't know what she's bouncing around. Well, they, I mean, you can read all the literature. Well, I mean, are but you, the you're not willing. You're like, I'm worried about her, but I refuse to read any of the information that they said. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it How does many? It. it doesn't matter. First of all, what kind of school does that? It says, okay, five thousand dollars, and you can go. It's not really so with many. their school. It's like. I so, mean, it's through her school, but it's not. Yeah, but it's look like how many separate look how many company. kids can't do it. It's no, it's like a separate company that does it. It's like in the summer. It's just no, it's a yeah, a senior. It's but it's advertised right, as a senior right, class trip, right? But it's not like it's not like oh, everyone in the school is going. It's like of they, course they can not. take twenty two people. That's it. Five thousand dollars. It it makes kids feel uh but there's lots of stuff i wasn't than, allowed to do yeah and you have an inferiority complex in life over I, an inferiority complex yeah you didn't think i knew that word well i do i was being funny like you just told me that i think i'm better than everyone else yeah people are like that they think they're better than everybody else but deep down they have it's all hubris no, it's not humorous. <laughs> it's not. No one's laughing. Do you, you really don't know what the word hubris means? Hubris? <laughs> Along with everybody who's listening, nobody knows what hubris means. <laughs> well, why are you saying it like that? You've never heard the word hubris? Not in the circles I run in. <laughs> I know, because it's like, in those white trash circles, they'll beat the fucking shit out of you for saying that. Yeah. Hubris. Uberus, why won't you say an H correctly? Is that something that I say uberus? Uberus, it's not uberus, it's hubris. Uberus, either no. way, <laughs> no one's no one, I guarantee who's ever listening to this never use that word in a sentence. That's I, where you come in where you think you're better than I everybody. don't. That's a normal word that people use. Oh, it's a normal word that people I use. I think Bonnie wakes up going. <laughs> today i'm gonna say a word nobody knows so they think i'm you said smarter. inferiority complex are people just walking around saying that oh yeah that's an that's a typical known statement or word yeah in, in, but that's that goes back to what we were saying earlier where if you do it or you know it it's totally fine anything outside of that is completely wrong you live in this thing of like anybody doing something outside the circle of you is insane because yeah, i pretty much have it down i pretty much know how the wheels turn and the I've wheels lived turn life. what are you talking about whose wheels yours so how in life in life okay get it together how you know i've been through so much i know i've seen and i pretty much have the answers you see what i'm saying no i've i've lost the thread of it well well, listen, maybe you're know, just not hubris. I can't believe you. D is there? Is this all H words? Like, I know you say humorous, where you're not saying the H either. Humor. 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 
Yeah, it's funny humor. You can't even say the thing that you supposedly love more than anything in the world. I'm humor. He, humor. He said humor. I remember I used to go to speech class and I wanted to punch her in the face. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, because not everyone, she didn't tell everyone to start talking like you? That's what you wanted. No, I think everyone. I, I think everyone wasn't. should start talking like me. That's what I think. Yeah, that's how I talk like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> well, you are so easily true. You never got over it, did you? I'm not easily true. Is that why you were drinking? Because of your speech impediment? No. Oh, brother. Oh, because of your brother? <laughs> did he bug you? Did he tease you? I heard he had a lot of hubris. Whatever. What are you going to make for breakfast? I'm done. I'm out. I'm going to work out. Oh, with who? My friend. I got to see these workouts. Come try one. We, we'd love to have you. Oh. I try to tell you about them. You don't want to hear about them. First of all, our workout room is probably better. We did a couple workouts in our workout room. You want her to come back? No. Tomorrow we'll come here. No. Oh, you're doing two days in a row? Yeah, because she's been on vacation. I don't know if you noticed that I haven't been gone. All right. Well, we could wrap this up. We've done 45 minutes, enough. We've covered a lot of ground. We've, you know, I mean. Yeah, once again. What? Hit on nothing of substance. Oh, we did. We talked Thank about you. a lot of substance What's today. What's a substance? Dinner, cooking, Siamese twins. We never get anywhere like, there's never any like. Intense politics. Understanding. Who should I vote for in November? Nobody. I mean. Nobody. Probably best not not to just put on your blinders and go through life. <laughs> I normally wouldn't. Uh, uh, can Mark Cuban run? I will vote for Mark Cuban. Let's get him to run. Why Mark Cuban? Uh, he seems he's young, younger. I mean, uh, well spoken, is- well spoken, very business orient oriented. Uh, Seems like he would be uh, really good at it. You know, I think he's level-headed. You know, you, you don't, it doesn't hurt to look at him. What? You have a crush on Mark Cuban? I don't have a crush on him. I'm just saying he would be the, a better candidate. I hear, I he's got a lot of hubris. What's that? I don't want to say the joke again. It what started what? coming out. <laughs> what joke? I said he's got a lot of hubris. You got a little black thing in your tooth up there. Hmm. Oh my God, it looks rotten. It it's looks not. like your tooth is decaying, but it's a, it's a seed. That's nice. Pick it out now. We Well, you just brought it up. Now I have insecurity. We got a juicer. This thing is so fucking, it's called the Freta, F-R-E-T-T-A. Get yourself one. It's like the easiest, best thing to use. We don't get paid to say that. How much did it cost? I don't know, like one. 30, That's all. Mm-hmm. We were we tore some juice last night. I mean, we put eh, not we, Bonnie. I just direct. We put everything in it. I think all you really need is celery and carrots. Make yourself a celery and carrot one today. Why is that going to be gross? No, go ahead. What else you put in celery carrot? Oh, beets. Beets, like no one likes beets cooked, but in uh, juice, it's okay. I like beets cooked. I love beets. Ugh. I'm a beet head. I'm in my beet era. <laughs> You're so corny. It's, I can't do this anymore. Anyhow, I'm going to put the sauna together today. Oh, my God. Like, wrap it up already. Like Next weekend. Oh, no, this Friday. I saw it. This Friday, which is... Uh, tomorrow your stomach is going cray cray that's the first time it growled the whole time uh friday Isn't it weird how you sometimes don't know if it's your stomach or the person next to you no i know sometimes you don't know sometimes when a stomach growls you go oh whose was that you ever have that <laughs> no i just said no i know no. <laughs> i've never it had. happens <laughs> that's how we know we're all connected oh boy we're all one people so you guys this Friday this Saturday I'm at Tiff's in Morris Plains 
great. It's called the Dojo of Comedy, and it's a very intimate little room. It's and a good room. You'll be able to see me up close and personal. It's like when I saw Madonna and I could see her knee brace. When that's I saw that's how close scene. you're going to be to me. You're going to be able to see my knee brace. Well, this Friday I'm at the Denellen Theater. Saturday, Emanus or MS Emanus Theater, Emanus, Pennsylvania. Next weekend, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Oh, also, I'm doing a. What? Um, I'm going to be at um, the Mothership. Oh yeah, the fort, the thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, I think Thursday, when, Friday, Saturday, or no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, when I'm at uh, what do you call it, Vegas? You're at the mothership. Yeah, but then I just booked this gig, and they already put up a flyer. You can believe it. I can believe it. Can you go to richvoss.com for all my dates? Saturday, four twenty-seven, April twenty-seventh, Meadowlands Racetrack. What the fuck is that? Like, what? I don't that? know. It's going to be, uh, you know. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we got a lot of dates. Richfoss.com. All uh, right, everybody. All right, let's go, Israel. Thank Goodbye. You. My Wife Hates Me podcast, hosted and created by Rich Foss and Bonnie McFarlane, produced by Nick Collette. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This jackass Jew. Some people say that opposites attract, but this seems more like a suicide pact. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bomb and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.